afternoon baseball here on the show. Today, a spring training matchup between the Royals and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. With that, we welcome you inside the broadcast booth. Matt Vaskersian here for this spring training matchup. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for our visitors here, the Kansas City Royals, as Ned Yost has his guys lined up like this. There you see the starting pitcher they'll match up against as you look at his numbers on the right side of your screen. And defensively, the Angels will look like this in the field. Lorenzo Cain will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. The Royals, center fielder number six, Lorenzo Cain. <laughs> underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there for strike one. One thing to keep an eye on as this game goes along, first pitch, first pitch strikes. The more this guy can work from ahead, the better off he's going to be. And that's taken as well, and it's nothing in two to begin the afternoon here. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. And just a chamber of commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. The one two fouled straight back. Again, a one two and a foul pop behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Time to check out the scouting report here as we run the numbers on this 26 year old right hander. Omar Infante digs in at the plate. Now here it comes. Swung on and lifted down the left field line. And Hamilton's got this one two away. Batting third. Shortstop. Alcides Escobar. Alcides Escobar will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. Now the first pitch. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Trout is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. KC down in order. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. Starting lineup for the Angels is there on your screen. And look there at the starting pitcher charged with facing these guys as his numbers are on your screen. Royals defensively will look like this behind him. It 
Eric Ibar will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And leading out for the Halo, the shortstop. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. The pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 oh and 2 now. Straight paint at 94 miles an hour. Not a lot of movement there, but it's right on a dime. Pitch on the way. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Here comes a one-two. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one-two. Swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. These long at bats give you a good sense of what a guy's featuring here in the first inning. Here comes a two, two. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away. J.B. Shuck will step in now. Here's the first offering. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1 and 0. And now pitch on the way. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. The 1 1. And this is on the ground toward the hole. In time to first, and there are two away. Mike Trout will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Now here's the first pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. We've played an inning. No score. Eric Hosmer leads things off now in the top half Leading of the second. The First baseman number 35, Eric Hosmer. First offering on the way. Driven the other way out to deep left field. A leap at the wall, and he makes the catch. And this is all athleticism out there in left field. Look at him measure that leap perfectly. Get up there, and then pull that ball back in. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. The 1 0 pitch. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2 0. Here's the 2 0. Oh, I bet he'd like to have that swing back. It's two and one now. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Here comes the two-one. 
Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. The 2-2 one more time. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Kind of a double-edged sword right there. He wants to bounce a curveball to get a swing through, and he gets it, but then he's got to worry about that ball maybe getting away. Fortunately, that's a nice play to keep it close and get the runner out at first. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. The next pitch. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Ready now on one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. Yeah, let's win, Angel. Woo! Here's the two and one pitch. Well. Now here's the ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. And after setting down the first five to start the afternoon, he finally gives up his first hit here with two outs in the second. And that's important, because you don't want to let a guy coast through these early innings. You want to mount at least a little bit of pressure out there. Mike Moustakis will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Now the first pitch. Line drive, caught at third by Freeze. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. Josh Hamilton will start things off in the bottom of the second. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the shift. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. One strike offering now to Hamilton. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Yeah. I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, one and two now. Here's the one-two. That oh. misses, and we're even at two and two. That's a good location for that cutter with two strikes. He's either got to take that and hope it's a ball, or he's got to foul that thing off. Here now the two-two. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground with the left side. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Well, and that's exactly what you want to do right there. Get yourself another ground ball, and that's a good way to start the second as he gets the easy ground out. So one away here with the bases empty. And standing in, trouble now in the person of Albert Pujols. First pitch coming. Now a swing and another ground ball. This one out to short. Throw gets him two down. Now these infielders have been busy early on, and that's another ground ball out for them. Probably not going to be the last one we see either. David Fries get his first chance now, trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. Now here's the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Here's the 1-0. Oh. 
swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. Now the one and one pitch. This ball's grounded foul. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now the one two. Here we go. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Adam Lind is ready to go here as we begin the third. The designated hitter, Adam Lind. All right. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. You can see his pitch count here so far. He probably won't get a chance to throw too much longer here in a spring training game. Linda waits the 0 and 1. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now the pitch. Fouled back. Ready with another 0 2. Not surprisingly, here this is on the ground to the right side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Michael Morse will take his cuts now. And here's the first pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here it comes. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. Therefore, it is Ibar. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Lorenzo Kane will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball, and he knocks this one into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three, but... He's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Omar Infante will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Here's the first offering. And oh, look out. Up and in and nearly took his head off. Mm. He did not like that one bit. Now, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. Here's a 1-0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now a move over to first. And he'll dive back in safely. And that, in fact, is going to wind up out of play. So a costly mistake there. <laughs> On a pickoff throw? Really? Into the stands? That's a disaster. Here it comes now to Infante. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. 
one, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Where do you go from here? I think he's set up for something off speed. If you can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. Here he comes on two and two. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Yeah, and you know, he just couldn't put him away here with two strikes. He goes to the fastball, hoping to get out of the inning, but this is hit pretty hard, and now he's got a second man on base to deal with, two away. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop, as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. Come on, hold it down. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. Well, he'd been doing a really good job of working corner to corner, but this is one of the first pitches we've seen that kind of found the middle of the plate, and it's going to cost him a run as this will wind up being an RBI double. Eric Hosmer will step in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to pad this lead a bit early on. First pitch coming. Too low, 1 0. Well, you know, three straight hits are bad enough, but now he's making things even worse by falling behind the next guy. 1 0 on the way. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. Hamilton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. A run for the Royals on the RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up is now 1 0 Royals. Howie Kendrick will come forward to begin the inning. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base runner. It's been six up, six down to start the game. First pitch to him. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. And you figure to see that change up more and more as this day progresses. And the first time through the lineup, you want these guys to know that you've got this pitch in your arsenal. Sometimes pitchers want to hold on to pitches and not show everything right away. But here, you want these guys to be thinking. They know he's got that change up, so I'd better not sit on the fastball too often. Cole Calhoun will stand in for the first time here. First pitch coming. Low for ball one. Angel still looking for hit number one in the ballgame. The 1-0. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Here's the one one pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here comes the one two. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Another one two delivery. And he lays.
pitches off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Two two. Now a ball hit in the air to left center. And there to take it in is Gordon for route number two. Chris Iannetta will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Now the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Faces are empty here with two men out. Here's the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. All right, one one on the way. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. The right-hander deals on one and two. Swinging a ball hit hard on the ground to first. On with it, the first is Hosmer, and that ends the inning. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the Royals one, and the Angels nothing. C.J. Wilson will come on and get some work as he makes his second appearance so far this spring. C.J. Wilson. Alex Gordon will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. The left fielder, number four, Alex Gordon. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays One off it for a ball. The 1-0. Not close. It's 2-0. Two tough sliders there back to back, and he couldn't get him to bite on either. Now he might have to change tack here, down 2-0. Here comes the 2-0. Oh, he got the high fastball there, and he popped it straight up. Ibar is in his tracks now, and he's got it for out number one. Well, sometimes when you miss with your location, it actually works to your benefit. This pitch is further up than I think he wants it, but hey, it works out for him. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. And now a bobble, and he's not going to have a play. The third baseman, number eight, Mike Moustakis. Mike Moustakis. Will stand in. A line out victim his first time. First pitch on the way. First pitch of the AB is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Under it is Trout, and there are two gone now. First here with two gone in the inning, and here's the designated hitter, Adam Lind. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He's set, now the pitch. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And Kendrick gives it a reach going by, but it's into center field for a base hit. This is what you call an ambush swing right here. You're hitting in the back of the order. You're looking dead red early in the count. 
kind of just hoping the pitcher might relax and forget about you for a minute. Then you get that fastball middle in, and you jump all over it. Here's Michael Morse now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Now the 1-0. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one, high and deep to center. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Royal strand a pair, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Eric Ibar will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ballgame. Yeah, still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. And the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he will fight the Cactus League sky as he puts this one away for route number one. These guys are still looking for that elusive first hit. And this never had a chance of being the one. Just an easy pop-up as he keeps rolling right along. J.B. Shuck will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First offering on the way. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Pitch on the way. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Here's the one one pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. On the ground, softly towards second. Taken by Infante on to first, and there were two down. Man, and not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Mike Trout will stand in here, hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. And you know what, guys? I have been really impressed so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that is perfect location right on the knees. MVP. MVP. The pitch. Here we go. Ball one. one, one. Now the 1-1. One, one. And that's high and off the plate, 2-1. and one. Here he comes on 2-1. and one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. They still trail 1-0. Maurice Bacon will come out now and make his first appearance of the spring. Maurice Bacon.
Lorenzo Cain will stride in, popped out and singled in his two trips. Action now in the Angels' bullpen as a left-hander starts to get loose. Swing and a line drive to left. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. That's just a highlight reel catch right there. If this one skips by him, you could be looking at some extra bases. So the pitcher's very excited about making that play. Omar Infante to stand in as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. You have to figure that sinker is going to be an important pitch for him here this afternoon. No question about it. Obviously, it's his ground ball pitch. So if you're a hitter, you're going to need to make him bring that pitch up a bit. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Here it comes now to Infante. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Alcides Escobar will dig in. One for two to this point in the ball game. Come on now. Stay here. First pitch coming. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. One run, six hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. 1-0 pitch now. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. Royals go down 1-2-3, but they're on top 1-0. Hamilton will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. One strike offering now to Hamilton. And this is fouled back and out of play. And now a pitch on the way. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Another 0-2 coming. Chopper foul. O2 once more. And boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats. Still stuck on 0 and 2. The next 0 2. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. And I kind of think even in a normal defensive alignment, he probably makes this play. But here you can see him playing close to the line because he's got backup in the form of his second baseman. And it winds up a fairly routine ground out to first. Here's Albert now. 
as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. One strike to Pujols. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. Boy, that's another pitch right down the middle, though. So he's gotten away with it so far, but I think he's given him a little bit too much to hit here. Come on, Angels. Let's go. Now the pitch. There we go. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go, right there. A big goose egg in that hit column, worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. David Fries will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Here's the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Now here's the pitch. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Here comes the 1-1. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Oh, and he misses it. Around second. He'll try for third. And he'll get in there safely. So a struggle that time for him in center field. And as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. Howie Kendrick will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. And that's taken for strike one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. A man on third with two down. He's ready now, the pitch. Uh, he dials down on that one, but the result's the same. It's a called strike as he's in the hole now, 0-2. Yeah, one pitch away now from getting through five shutout innings. And I'll tell you what, the way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. Pause, now the pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. We're back to Arizona and spring training baseball after this. Tyler Skaggs will come on now and take the ball for the fourth time this spring. Back with Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. Matt Vaskersian here as Eric Hosmer gets ready to start things out for Kansas City. Some stirring now in that Angel bullpen as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. Hit well down the left field line but back into the crowd foul. Now the pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded foul. Another 0-2 home. Now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. 
Well, that's a nice piece of defensive hitting right there. What I mean by that, with two strikes, you've got to open that zone up a little because you don't want to get caught looking at strike three. So he lets it fly here on a pitch pretty well out of the zone, but he makes it work out for him. Alex Gordon will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off okay, of. Okay, pitch ya. Come set, now the pitch. That's hard hit back up the middle. And that's a base hit for Gordon. Textbook start to the inning right there. Back to back hits have him in a good position to maybe stretch out this one run lead. Salvador Perez will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Now the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. And here's one of those times where the Royals have to start finding key hits. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. The 1-1 one, one home. Now oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a three-run blast to straightaway left as the Royals have extended their lead to four to nothing. Well, this is a pitch he'd love to have back. You can see where it is, catching way too much of the plate. Now he's going to have to start this inning over from scratch, but with already three runs on the board. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis, now. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Three runs already home here. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, the base hit. Boy, that guy on the mound right now needs a double play in the worst way. That's four straight hits now to start the inning. He just needs something to go his way. Adam Lind will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. First pitch coming. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much and that's not working for him. 1-0. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. The 1-1. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. 
And Fleece will put this away. No problem for the first down. Well, here it is again. Look at it just bury this one right at the letters. And you can see he got him to pull off the swing a bit, just pop it straight up. Here's Michael Morse now. As he's first pitch swinging here, and this is on the ground toward the hole. What a flip for one. Over to Pujols, and it's a double play that'll get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More Cactus League action coming your way after this. Cole Calhoun will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. And I think that's putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings. They're going to need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit. But that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him, and that's for sure. Here's the first offering. Goes the other way as this is line to left. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first down. Well, this is one of those situations where his guys got him the lead early on, and he's been in complete control ever since. I mean, he's barely been threatened out there. Chris Iannetta will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch to him. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Great play to Spirit. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. And a lot of times, you, know, you might say, eh, ah, you know, four run lead, we'll make that up. But I tell you, the way he's throwing the ball right now, they might be fortunate just to get one run off him. Two men are out now in the Angels' sixth, and that'll bring in the shortstop, Eric Ibar. Now the first pitch. Here we go. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Now here's the pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Pitch on the way. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Now another 0-2. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Here's another 0-2. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. And you had to figure that sooner or later someone was going to do something in the play. Now that's just their second hit of the ball game, and it comes all the way in any number six. Offense has been almost non-existent so far. J.B. Shuck will stand in and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. First pitch on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner and it's paid big dividends for him. He's ready, now the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. 
And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about. You don't want to give this guy something where he can just roll over a ground ball and still get it into right field. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Angels strand one. They're down 4 nothing. Back here on the show. Royals leading this one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do so, let's take a look at our game summary to this point. Fernando Salas is out from the bullpen now as he'll work in his third game so far this spring. Lorenzo Cain will get another shot after he was robbed of a hit on a gorgeous play his last time. to deep left field. Hamilton is there to put this one away and it takes just one pitch to record the first out of the seventh. Uh, he's just trying to get a fastball in there to start the inning. Ball winds up getting hit pretty well but not well enough to do any damage. It's a one pitch out. Leadoff man retired for Omar Infante. First pitch coming. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Here it comes now to Infante. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. As a manager, you love your relievers to come in and give you plenty of strikeouts. But I'll tell you what, there isn't a manager alive that'll get upset when you come in and get two outs on three pitches. Alcides Escobar will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First offering on the way. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Royals go down on just four pitches. They lead it four to nothing. Aaron Crow will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Aaron Crow. Brennan Bosch is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Ball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Here comes the 1 0. And that's inside. Looked like the slider, and it's 2 0. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on two and oh. Now the three one home. 
Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Good job out there on the mound. Down in the count, 3 0 to start this inning. He comes back to retire the guy on a ground ball. Tommy Lasorda will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. In there, 0 and 1. You have to say they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. You don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. And this is going to be a foul ball. No runs, two hits, one error for the Angels so far. He'll try again, one two. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And that will find its way into right field for a one-out single. When they finally break through for hit number three of this ball game, though, it took them seven innings to do it. That is not the kind of offensive performance that's going to win you too many ball games. Derek Barton will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1-0. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Now the 1-0 pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Here's the 1-1. That's in there on the outer half. 1-2 and two now. So one and two with one away. Oh, right back to him on the mound. Infante for one. Back to first and a great stretch there may be the difference. It's a double play and the inning is over. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Royals are on top, four to nothing. Brennan Bosch will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Now playing center field, number double Derek zero. Barton will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Number 10, Derek Barton. Luis Pineda will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Luis Scott Hairston is also into the ball game as he'll assume duties in left field. Eric Hosmer will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. And now we see a right-hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees. And he's on to open up the inning. That's just a nice play out there in the corner. You know, with most guys, this is a sure double. But he might even have hit this ball a little too hard because they can get it back into the infield quickly, and that's going to hold them to just a single. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Here's the 1-0. Oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's 1-1. One one. 
Uh, and he's always so tough on left-handed hitters. That slider is just so difficult to pick up. Nobody out, runner on first. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. On the ground is short. This could be two. Kendrick back to first, and Gordon has hit into a double play. Well, the one thing this guy definitely has coming in out of the bullpen is that hard sinking fastball. And here it is in all its glory as he gets the big double play ball to take away the pressure. Salvador Perez will stand in again as we flash you back here to inning number six. This was his three-run home run that's really been the key blow to this point in the ball game. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. That first pitch change can be a tough one. A guy doesn't have any point of reference to work from, and he just can't help himself up there. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Here's the pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. Another 0-2 coming. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. Royals bats are quiet there, but they're in front four to nothing. Taylor Lindsay will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Now he might have been on the on-deck circle just saying, man, I get one at-bat and it's against this guy? Thanks a lot. Action in that KC pen now as a right-hander's begun to loosen up. Now here it comes. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. The 0-2 once more. And that's off his leg on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Howie Kendrick will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. First pitch coming. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. Kane is there now, and he has it to God. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Cole Calhoun will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Now here's the first pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Uh, I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so 
He's not setting guys up or wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. The pitch. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Now the pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout. And an easy play there for Mustakas, and that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We've played eight full. KC leads this one four to nothing. Taylor Lindsay is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Now playing third base, number eight, Dane De La Rosa. Come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Mike Moustakis will dig in. He singled his last time around. Third baseman number eight, Mike Moustakis. Taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. Hairston is there, and it's a picture-perfect beginning to the ninth inning for a pitcher. One pitch, one away. Yeah, jumping on the first pitch of the inning there. Gave it a pretty good ride, but in the end, winds up being a pretty routine first out. Adam Lind will bat now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Here's the first offering. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Yeah, and I think he thought he got that one pretty good. That looked like it might turn into extra bases, but that's a nice job to close quickly and run it down in the alley. Here's Michael Morse now. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Now here's the pitch. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Ah, uh, he's playing right into that big swing from a pitch before. Just throw something slow here, and you'll probably have him three feet out in front. Hard hit towards center. And this will wind up a base hit here for Morris. Yeah, and that's definitely the drawback to the no doubles defense. Now, if this guy's playing in his normal spot, it's hard to say whether he would have gotten to this or not. But since he's playing deep, he's got no chance to get to it. In now is Lorenzo Cain. And this one's in the dirt, but fortunately here, no advance. The 1-0 home still won't get him to fish downstairs, and it's 2-0 now. Two out with the man at first. 2-0 count, the pitch. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Here's the 2-1 pitch. He'll offer it the 2-1 and send it in the air out to right. Calhoun is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Royals 4, and the Angels nothing. Chris Iannetta will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Kelvin Herrera will come in and pitch now. For the Royals, number 40, Kelvin Herrera.
He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And he's retired here one away. Stewart will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Now, pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And the pitch. And that is swung on and missed. And things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. And so far, this has been the theme all afternoon. Strike one, strike two, take a hike. I mean, there have been times where he's made it look incredibly effortless out there, and that was another one. Danny Dorr will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And here's a fastball called for strike one. These guys would like to at least get someone on base here in this bottom of the night. Got to make them sweat a little. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pitch on the way. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Here comes a 1-2. Close, but it's not over yet. That's ball two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking on the final out, so that's a tough pitch to lay off. The 2-2 two -two coming. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. One final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, not the longest outing he'll ever have. He only made it six full innings, but definitely brought his good stuff to the ballpark, and he winds up helping his guys get out of here with victory.
So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. The Royals come out on top, four to nothing. So long, everybody. The Angels, no runs, three hits, one error. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 38 minutes. Thanks for joining us this afternoon, and please drive home safely.